There is no doubt that avocados are one of the most beneficial superfoods, serving as natural remedies for various ailments. These creamy, delicious fruits are packed with healthy fats, fiber, vitamins, and minerals that can benefit our overall health and well-being. From avocado toast to guacamole, it seems like everyone is finding ways to incorporate this superfood into their diets. But did you know that they might not be suitable for everyone? That's right. If you thought avocados were universally beneficial, think again. In this video, we're going to uncover the common side effects of avocados and why you should avoid them if you have specific health issues or while using certain medications. Some of these side effects also occur not as a result of existing health issues or medications, but rather because of the way some individuals take them. So, stay with us because by the end of this video, you'll have a clear picture of when to avoid avocados and how to use them wisely to reap their beneficial effects. We will also reveal the results of groundbreaking scientific studies that show how you can maximize the benefits from consuming avocados as well as how you can use avocados to improve the absorption of beneficial nutrients from other sources outside of avocados themselves. But first, let's start with conditions where you should avoid avocados. Number one, kidney diseases. While avocados are generally a healthy choice, they may not be the best option for those with compromised kidney function. You see, avocados are packed with potassium, a mineral that plays a vital role in maintaining proper heart muscle and nerve function. Just a single medium-sized avocado contains around 690 milligrams of potassium, which is about 20% of the daily recommended intake for healthy adults. In fact, it has more potassium than bananas. But here's the catch. When your kidneys aren't functioning properly, they may struggle to filter out excess potassium from your blood. This can lead to a dangerous buildup of potassium in your body, a condition known as hyperkalemia. Consequently, high potassium levels can cause serious heart problems, including irregular heartbeats and even cardiac arrest in severe cases. So if you have kidney disease or are at risk of developing it, it's crucial to monitor your avocado intake closely. If you are unsure, your healthcare provider can help you determine how much potassium is safe for you to consume based on your individual needs and the stage of your kidney disease. Number two, kidney stones. When it comes to avocados, another important consideration is their oxalate content. Oxalates are naturally occurring compounds found in many healthy foods, including fruits, vegetables, and whole grains. While they're generally harmless for most people, they can cause problems for some individuals, particularly those prone to developing kidney stones. Here's how it works. When you consume foods high in oxalates like avocados, your body absorbs some of these compounds into the bloodstream. These oxalates can bind with calcium and other minerals in your blood, forming small crystals. Over time, these crystals can accumulate and grow into larger stones, which can cause painful blockages in your kidneys as it tries to filter your blood. Now, before you swear off avocados forever, it's important to note that not everyone who eats oxalate-rich foods will develop kidney stones. In fact, many other factors can contribute to stone formation, including dehydration, certain medical conditions, and a family history of kidney stones. So, what can you do to enjoy avocados while minimizing your risk of kidney stones? Well, the key in this case is moderation and balance. Instead of eating a whole avocado in one sitting, try using smaller amounts as a topping for salads, sandwiches, or in any other method you love to have it. Also, be sure to pair your avocado with foods that are low in oxalates. In addition, it's crucial to stay well hydrated throughout the day, as drinking plenty of water helps flush excess oxalates and other stone-forming compounds out of your system, reducing your risk of kidney stone formation. Number three, digestive issues. Now, this is one that affects millions of people worldwide. If you're one of the many individuals who struggle with conditions like irritable bowel syndrome or FODMAP sensitivity, you may need to be cautious when it comes to avocado consumption. First, let's break down what FODMAPs are. FODMAP stands for fermentable oligosaccharides, disaccharides, monosaccharides, and polyols. A mouthful, right? Anyway. These are short-chain carbohydrates that are poorly absorbed in the small intestine and can cause digestive distress in some people. 
Avocados contain two types of FODMAPs. Polyol, in the form of sorbitol and fructose, a monosaccharide. When these compounds reach the large intestine, they can draw water into the bowel and ferment, leading to symptoms like bloating, gas, abdominal pain, and diarrhea. If you have IBS or are sensitive to FODMAPs, consuming avocados may trigger or worsen your digestive symptoms. However, it's important to note that everyone's tolerance level is different. Some people with IBS may be able to enjoy small amounts of avocado without experiencing any issues, while others may need to avoid it altogether. So, if you suspect that avocados may be contributing to your digestive distress, Try eliminating them from your diet for a few weeks and see how you feel. Keep track of your symptoms and identify any patterns or correlations with your avocado intake. Number four, histamine intolerance. Histamine is a compound that's naturally produced by your immune system and is also found in certain foods, including avocados. If you have histamine intolerance, consuming avocados can trigger symptoms like skin rashes, itching, hives, digestive issues such as bloating, diarrhea, and stomach pain, headaches, and even respiratory problems like nasal congestion or asthma. While most people can process histamine without any issues, some individuals may have difficulty breaking it down, leading to a range of uncomfortable symptoms. So, what causes histamine intolerance exactly? Well, there are a few factors at play. Some people may have a genetic predisposition to the condition, while others may develop it as a result of an underlying health issue, such as a gut imbalance or deficiency of diamine oxidase, an enzyme which helps break down histamine in the body. If you suspect that you may have histamine intolerance, the first step is to talk to your health care provider. They can help you rule out any other underlying conditions and recommend appropriate testing or treatment options. In the meantime, if you find that consuming avocados triggers uncomfortable symptoms, it may be best to limit or avoid them altogether. Instead, focus on incorporating low histamine foods into your diet. Number five, people using blood thinners. While avocados are generally a safe and healthy food, they can interact with certain medications, particularly blood thinners like warfarin. Here's why. Avocados are a rich source of vitamin K, a nutrient that plays a crucial role in blood clotting. In fact, a single avocado contains around 28.6 micrograms of vitamin K, which is about 25% of the daily recommended intake for adults. For most people, this isn't a problem. Vitamin K is an essential nutrient that helps keep our bones strong and our blood clotting properly. But for individuals taking blood thinners like warfarin, Consuming large amounts of vitamin K can interfere with the medication's effectiveness. That is, while the blood thinner is trying to prevent blood from clotting, vitamin K in avocados does the opposite, thereby increasing the risk of dangerous blood clots. So, if you're taking warfarin or another blood thinner, it's crucial to be cautious with your intake of avocados. You can either avoid them completely during the course of the medication or lower your intake to reduce the risk of serious complications. Number six, latex fruit syndrome. While rare, some individuals may also show allergic reactions to avocado. These occur when the immune system mistakenly identifies certain proteins in the fruit as harmful substances, triggering an allergic response. In some cases, individuals with a latex allergy can also experience an allergic reaction to avocados. Here's how it works. The proteins found in latex are similar in structure to the proteins found in certain fruits, such as avocados. As a result, some people with latex allergies may experience cross-reactivity, meaning their immune system mistakenly identifies proteins in the fruit as those found in latex and triggers an allergic response. Symptoms of latex fruit syndrome can range from mild itching, tingling or swelling in the mouth and throat, to severe symptoms like difficulty breathing, hives, or anaphylaxis. Number seven, oral allergy syndrome. Oral allergy syndrome occurs when individuals with pollen allergies like hay fever experience allergic reactions to certain raw fruits, vegetables, and nuts. Similar to latex allergic syndrome, this happens because the proteins found in these foods 
are similar in structure to the proteins found in pollen, leading to cross-reactivity. In the case of avocados, individuals with allergies to birch pollen, ragweed pollen, or grass pollen may be more likely to experience the symptoms of oral allergy syndrome after eating the fruit. If you suspect that you may have any of these allergic conditions, it's important to see an allergist for proper diagnosis and treatment. Your allergist can perform skin prick tests or blood tests to determine whether you have allergies to specific pollens and fruits. However, if you have a known latex allergy, then the best way to prevent reactions is to avoid the offending fruits altogether. Now, remember the scientific studies we mentioned at the beginning of the video? Did you know that you can enhance the nutritional benefits of avocados even further by combining them with the right foods? Well, let's take a look at what these scientific studies have revealed. While avocados are already packed with healthy fats, fiber, vitamins, and minerals, recent research has shed light on a fascinating discovery. Consuming avocados alongside other nutrient-rich foods can actually boost the absorption of those nutrients in your body. A recent study reported that avocados added to salsa act as a nutrient boost by increasing the absorption of carotenoids, which are powerful antioxidants that help protect the body from damaging compounds. In the study, people who consumed salad containing 75 grams of avocado, equivalent to half of a medium avocado, absorbed 8 times more alpha-carotene, 13 times more beta-carotene, and 4 times more lutein. So, what's the science behind this incredible nutrient boost? Well, it all comes down to the unique combination of healthy fats found in avocados. Avocados are rich in monounsaturated and polyunsaturated fats, which help your body absorb and utilize fat-soluble nutrients like carotenoids more efficiently. But the avocado effect doesn't just apply to tomato salsa and salads. Another study published in the Journal of Nutrition found similar benefits when avocados are paired with high beta-carotene diets like tomato sauce and raw carrots. Therefore, by combining avocados with a variety of nutrient-dense foods, you can create a synergistic effect that maximizes the nutritional impact of your meals. So how can you put this knowledge into practice? Try adding sliced avocado to your favorite salads, using mashed avocado as a spread on whole grain sandwiches, or whipping up a delicious guacamole to serve alongside antioxidant-rich veggies like bell peppers and carrots. Not only will these avocado-centric meals taste amazing, but they'll also give your body a powerful nutritional boost that can support everything from healthy vision to glowing skin to a stronger immune system. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like the video, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you don't miss out on the next video.